Yo, what is going on, you Slackers? I am your host, Slackers Gaming, bringing you another episode of Rate Their Chances. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty simple. Uh, every Sunday, I will do two episodes. Each episode, I go over one specific character uh, that has, I guess, a potential to... Uh, chance to be a newcomer in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. So I kind of go over some pros and some cons, and then at the end, give my percentage or my opinion for a percentage from 0 to 100 what I think that character has to be playable for the game. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get into today's character, which is Incineroar. Now, when I go over characters, I, I like to break it down into categories uh, such as popularity, uh, moveset, relevance and then uh, what kind of uh, category would the character fall under and by that I mean what, are they a first party are they a WTF character would they be uh, like a retrofit or would they be a third party character and in today's case Incineroar falls into that huge group of first party contenders so uh, let's get into it shall we I think first up so I always like to go over popularity now um, Incineroar might not be one of the most popular Pokemon, but in terms of Gen 7 at least, uh, it is definitely one of the more recognizable uh, Pokemon from that generation. It's, uh, I think, uh, doesn't he play like, I don't watch the anime, so I could be kind of wrong about this, but it's, it seems like I've been told that, uh, I don't know what form he has right now on his team. I don't know if it's uh, Litten or... I don't think he has Incineroar yet, but uh, whoever, whatever version of the Incineroar line that he has on his team right now seems to be playing a pretty prominent role, and that could be um, considered a pro because it seems when uh, Pokemon kind of, uh, when Sakurai thinks of po about Pokemon, I think he takes, uh, I guess you could say maybe inspiration from the anime, and that kind of goes back through all the Smash games. I mean, Smash 64 was a... Uh, Pikachu and Jigglypuff. I mean, Pikachu was the, uh, the is the mascot of Pokemon. Jigglypuff actually played a pretty big role in the anime. Um, always following around Team Rocket and Ash and them and trying to perform and sing, but everyone would fall asleep. So Jigglypuff would get angry, and it's kind of a nice little funny bit um, in episodes here and there. So I always thought that was kind of cool. And then uh, Mewtwo and Pichu. Mewtwo is, well, just a legendary Pokemon everybody loved. Of course, Pichu was, you know, baby form of Pikachu, so you had to throw that in there too, right? Uh, I could keep going, but we'll stop there. So it seems Pokemon in the anime seem to play into a factor when Sakurai is and his team are deciding a new playable rep from Pokemon. So I guess Incineroar is headed on that path is what I'm trying to get to. So maybe that's it. Um, let's go over moveset. Moveset for any Pokemon is so easy to just think of. I mean, just take any amount of moves that the Pokemon learns. And especially, you know, Ultra or um, Final Smashes, they have their new, uh, uh, what are they, the the Pokemon. What are their final final moves? Not their, um, the Z moves. Yeah, Z moves, that's what I'm trying to think of. Um, all the Pokemon have that, and uh, the starters have, like, their own special ones. So you can just incorporate uh, their Z move into... Uh, you know, their final smash, super easy to do. Uh, and plus, uh, Incineroar's design is actually pretty cool. He's like a, uh, like a, a, a wrestling, what, tiger cat thing? I mean, he's, he's got the design to be a playable fighter, absolutely. No no questions there. So, I mean, uh, I, th I think Incineroar would be really cool as a rep. I really do. He wouldn't be at the top of my list for a Gen 7 Pokemon, but if he got in, I wouldn't be... Uh, I definitely wouldn't be angry about that one. But um, I guess uh, the last kind of pro I want to go over is Pokemon as a series always gets a new rep in Smash. And I don't see any reason why that wouldn't um, continue this time around. So, yeah, Incineroar's got to be on the list. And real quick, another, I don't want to say pro, but if you're a big believer in Virgibon and his leaks where he just said uh, that... Decidueye is not the Gen 7 playable rep, so that just means if you believe, oops, excuse me, if you believe that, he's saying Gen 7 has a playable rep, and it wasn't, it, or isn't Decidueye. He also came out and said, um, there's another post on GameFAQs, I wish I would have saved that clip, um, or screenshot, where he said it's not Decidueye, it's not Mimikyu, and it's not Lycanroc. So that kind of narrows it down to Incineroar could be a front runner. Personally, I think it could be an uh, Ultra Beast, uh, Buzzwale, Buzzwole. 
the steroidy ish mosquito thing. I think that could be a contender. Big time, maybe Zara Aura, who knows. But uh, yeah, those are all the pros that I got. So we got to move on to the cons, which um, I mean, there's not too many cons. Uh, one, I could say, uh, like I just mentioned, he's fighting with other Gen 7 Pokemon that um, are maybe more popular or around the same popularity as Incineroar, such as, well, I still want to include Mimikyu and uh, Lycanroc or. Ultra Beast, uh, you know, so, or uh, Zara Aura. You could put any of those on there uh, in contention for that new uh, Pokemon rep. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I guess that's that's a con because Pokemon is a bit crowded. So, um, I guess another con I have is we already have like a final stage Fire Evolution in Charizard on the roster. Do we need a second one? Is you know. I mean, sure, we have Greninja, who's the final stage, but we have Squirtle, who's the first stage, so it's a bit different, you know, on the, uh, so do we really need two final form evolution starters, uh, especially for the same type? I don't know. Uh, I think that kind of takes away from the, the the specialness of the character a bit. I, I think that does, uh, in terms of Charizard, that is, but... Um, yeah, I guess um, the only other thing I can think of when I'm coming up with, uh, you know, any uh, arguments for Pokemon is will Gen 7 actually get repped or will they kind of be in the boat where they uh, wait for Gen 8 to come out and then they'll push a Gen 8 Pokemon uh, for DLC and Smash to help get the hype for Gen 8 rolling and all that stuff. So does Gen 7 get repped? Maybe they wait on it and wait for Gen 8. You know, that's I think that's. Could be a legit argument, at least. So I got that on the cons. So for my final opinion, I suppose, um, my percentage-wise for Incineroar, uh, Incineroar is tricky. I definitely think, I'm like I've said before, I'm a believer in the Virgibon leaks. So I'm kind of leaning towards he's got to be one of the main three now. I would think main three have to be Incineroar, s some sort of Ultra Beast, and then... Uh, I think Zara Aura's got to be given some consideration, but I'm going to go, I'm just going to go 50%. I think he definitely has a good chance, and Cineror does, I, he really does, but I, I'm still iffy on him. I'm still iffy. I think Ultra Beast were a pretty big thing for Pokemon Sun and Moon, I, and I could see maybe Sakurai really kind of going with, okay, you know what, Ultra Beast are very special. Uh, they're kind of like their own type of Pokemon. So let's uh, go with one of them. So maybe maybe one of the Ultra Beasts get their own shot. Who knows? Actually, I'd be I'd be down if Buzzwall Buzzwall. I don't know how to pronounce that. If the mosquito thing, I re I'd be down if that was actually <laughs> if he was a playable character. That would be pretty cool actually. But then again, I can see them being like Pokeball Pokemon. You know, being uh, pretty special. Actually, it could be a new one. Uh, the uh, what are the I don't remember what the new, uh, the Beast Balls, that's what they are. You know, they could be a new item in the game, kind of rare, like Master Balls. I don't know, that's just uh, kind of what I thought. So, yeah, 50% is what I give Incineroar. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you think Incineroar is the front runner for the new Pokemon rep? Do you, um, do, do you think somebody else has the more likely chance? Do you believe in the Virgibon leaks where he says no, um, no Decidueye, no Mimikyu, and no Lycanroc? So... I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that stuff down in the comments. I'll try to reply to whatever I can because, again, I love talking about Smash stuff. This is pretty cool. But anyway, that is going to be it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as usual, and hopefully we we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.